Balderdash. I I mean, good, solid start. Uh, when last we left our heroes, they had just narrowly escaped the den of one white great worm, one they had met and fell previously, but now harried them again as a Dracolich great worm. Through much toil and some help from a an unknown, but now known, uh, Archfey, they were able to wrench themselves from that space and travel to the Feywild, where they spent the night and spent some time recollecting themselves and and reaffirming the bonds that they have with each other. After making a painting together, a an entity that seemed to be heralding the shrine that they were inhabiting came growing out of the ground. Told you that artwork should be appreciated and that it would very much be appreciated here. Accepting the offering brought before him, he then offered something back. A tuning fork that tuned to this shrine as well as to the material plane. With tuning fork in hand, he then walked away, rotting and crumbling back into the space that he had emerged from. As you all link hands and speak the words, you are all swiftly brought back to Precinct 3 in the 10th District and it feels a little bit odd being back in a space that you you feel somewhat at peace after <clears throat> such a swift, chaotic ride. But you're here. And yeah. who would like to kick off our little bit of downtime here in the, the 10th district. I have a question. Yes. Does Snack know anything about Chomsky that I don't know? Does Snack? Yeah. Like, did something happen when I missed a session and Snack knew something about, like, something that happened to him? Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that you know what happened to him. Uh, he kind of just poofed away. Um, like after, after helping bring Creed back, he, he came uh -huh. back and like shared a note with you guys saying, Hey, like, and this note just basically read, uh, Hey, it was great meeting you guys. It, cool that we went and got into those caverns. Uh, I'm going to uh, just go do my own thing now. Um, and the Chomsky was like, yeah, that happened. Um, and then proceeded to do things that he needed to do. He didn't really specify what they were. Um, kind of just bamfed out. Okay. So would it be possible to maybe retcon <laughs> that while we were in the Feywild, maybe Snack would have tried to reach out to him while she yeah. was there. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, go ahead. Um, hmm. What would be the best check for that? 
That's what I was going to say. I don't know. Yeah, um, I, I'll... I mean, obviously, they're... I'm going to open up a character sheet uh, just just to look at them, and then... Okay. So, I would say... You could either... I think probably the best ones would be... Like, perception or insight. Okay, I think it's the same for me. So. Okay. Either one? Yeah, either one. Okay. Don't forget, Nine. I think I think for ability checks, you can use your side die as well, right? Uh, that's <laughs> a good question. I will, I will go look at that. Okay. Let me at least roll the base, and then I'll, I'll go. Two. Because I just, I haven't heard from him in a while and I just would like to know that especially yes. if I'm on his plane like right. how he's oh okay I get it so I just saw it roll a 5 and I was like that doesn't equal 17 but then I remembered oh yeah you've got reliable talent oh yes so anything <laughs> is equal to 10 yeah. uh huh uh huh and you helped me fix that. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, which I didn't realize that they just had a check mark it, for it. That's pretty Was it even there handy. for that? I know. <laughs> so it says for my side eye that it's um When your training fails, you can decide if power can help. If you fail an ability check using a skill or a tool with which you have proficiency, you can roll one psionic energy die. If you, and add the if you fail one. If um, you fail, yeah. Potentially turning the failure into a Go success. ahead and roll it. Okay. So right now I think it's a 10. Yeah. Uh, roll... Um, oh, okay. So that, I guess, would be added to... Yes, with a 21, you start to widen your perception, stretching out your mind to the Feywild. What you immediately catch is... A lot. Just a lot. Like, the full breath, uh, breadth of life is happening. Um, tons of things are laughing. Tons of things are crying. Tons of things are dying. Tons of things are being born. Tons of... Like, it is just, like, non-stop. Um, wow. Overload. Life. <laughs> yeah. It is, it is overload. Um... In the immense amount of chatter, I will have you roll an investigation check as well. Okay. All right. With a 28. You feel a presence that's familiar to you but it seems that it just left mm. like it's still warm <laughs> yes essentially like the the place in space that you just found it's it's got like almost a, a fami familiar scent to it but it's not he's not there Okay. So that means he probably left the plane then? Is that what yes. I would think? Okay. Mm -hmm. That is what okay. you would comprehend from that. Okay. So at least I know he exists and at least fairly recent. Yes. And that he is not in the Feywild at the time. No. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. All right. 
do does yeah. does anybody want to kick off downtime or should I pick one of you? Rude. <laughs> Like the teachers, they're like, if there's no volunteers, I know. I'm just gonna. I know. <laughs> that was very purposeful. Yes. <laughs> well, should we take this young lady home, Mocha? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm definitely doing that. But... I I would very much appreciate that. Yes, thank you. Y yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, we can, we can definitely do that. I know she's. I mean, I'm excited about going home too. But mm -hmm. just uh, it, just to see yes, I, it it um it is important. Long I'd overdue. Say. Yeah, yes. that yes. yes, that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she starts like walking off, but then very very quickly like turns around and makes sure that you're following. Oh, yeah, I would be yes. going with her. Yeah, so for sure. you all start walking away from the tree of V2 Ghazi and make your way down the Ravnican streets, meandering your way down to Precinct 1. Uh, did I catch it that Ishmael is going with them? Yeah, I figured we would all go, but I'll go. Really? I'll That's go. nice. <laughs> if everyone wants to go, they can certainly yeah. do so. Uh, yeah, I just didn't expect it. <laughs> that is nice. It's like as soon as we get to town, all right, see you in a few days, bye. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, let's well, get off. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, I think last time it was like, we're going to go to a shop and we're going to go to Yes, place. it was very much so, that way. If you guys want to yeah. stay in a group, uh, there yeah, is nothing can. wrong with that. But if you That's don't true. and you do want to go off on your own, there's also nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I would say after getting back, like, I'm really glad that we're back. And Mocha, I'd love to any other time, except for maybe after I've died, drop you off at home and I would like to go rest. I, I very much understand that. Um, yeah, that makes sense. I, 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 I certainly don't want to pressure any of you. I, I, I'm, I'll be quite honest. I, I do want my sister to come with me. But even if she didn't, I'd still be going. <laughs> no, I'm for sure going to go with Monka. <laughs> well, I would like to visit you sometime, if that's okay. Uh, certainly. I I'm sure any of you would be very welcome in the Davenster home. Ezra, where are you going to stay? <laughs> I turned to Abe. Can I crash at your place? I know he's not here right now, but I know he'd say yes. He'd say yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I, it was already <laughs> spoken and talked about, so yes. I can, yes. Yeah. Oh, also, Isaiah said he's going to be home before nine, which is in an hour. All right. His movie is like slightly after eight. So he shouldn't be too long. He should be able to join us for the back half. Sweet. All right. I forgot that some of you were actually already here. Uh, so, but I kind of need to copy you again anyways, because um, there's a few level differences, I think. Right. I would think so. <laughs> What, we left here at level five? We've only not, yeah, not yeah. that long ago, but still. Uh, <laughs> it was a while ago. It was, it was a while ago. Um, where the... We definitely have to go shopping. I have some shopping to do. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> yeah. We need more animals. <laughs> yes, oh, no, no, no. obviously. Oh, no, no, obviously, you need thinking. more animals. There's not nearly enough companions no. in this party. I think oh, no, 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 you no, no, no. need at least 20 more. Oh, A party of 25. I would like to summon Stubes. So, All right. Yes, of course. Let him, <laughs> let him stretch Just his kidding. legs. Like. Just kidding, Diem. Just give me a hard time. I, 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 do what you want. I don't care. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> Let me grab one, two, three. We're just gonna copy you for now, but if other people want to be here eventually, there's nothing wrong with that. Just let me know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> can you just sleep all day, or is there a rule of you can? So you like can rest all day, but you 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 don't sleep. Like you you can. Does it get rid of points of exhaustion? No. The only yeah. thing that does that oh, is a long it? rest. Long oh. long rest can do that, but resting all day does nothing for it. Right. Yeah. So it's like you know, oh. not doing anything all day isn't gonna get rid of the point. Okay. Help One moment. No, but it is in character nope. when you're tired. Well, that is true. That's, That's fair. very true. I just no, would think no, it would help uh, with something. Uh, a little. at uh, getting the bones. bones. No, no. Yeah. Right. Ishmael, you sure you want to walk? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, usually like yep. 7.30 to 8. We get you, we get you a Ishmael's cart. Ishmael's looking for a cane right. along the we way. We can put him in a cart. <laughs> like, all of you need a walking up. stick. Right? I'm sure that hammer is pretty heavy. Oh, it's definitely heavy. As a as a as a walking like Thankfully, a because it is magical and has the throne property, it does feel lighter to Ishmael, especially oh, since he's okay. attuned to it. Um, yeah, that makes sense. But still, um, it is it is still heavy. It's like a those hidden sword canes, but it's a war hammer. Yeah, uh -huh. and it's not hidden. Uh, ex uh huh. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Or or maybe it's just like an actual cane. Um, but it's a hammer. Uh, or maybe it's just a hammer. Um, what whatever way it goes. Uh, we are bringing you down to here. You all. I need to find finally... old Minotaur photos. <laughs> you all finally it does even though it was only a matter of weeks it, it feels almost like a lifetime ago that you were back wait how long was it from like dropping off supine to yeah it was a matter of weeks it's crazy. Uh huh. I don't understand the time. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. D and D to this, yeah. It's 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 funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah, because it took you like a week to get to Bestalon. It then took you like a week to get to the uh, city that was in the in between on that island, and then it took you a week to get to um the serpent's teeth, and then it took you four days to get to the but, other side, and then the but whole Torin, this shenanigans. was in April, it was April the 8th of 21. Uh-huh. When we were here. Yep. <laughs> yeah. A year ago. Yep. <laughs> when we yep. set up. This did not add up at all. Uh-huh. I mean... April 8th of 21. Yep. Crazy. Yep. Crazy. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> with that, you all find yourself back in front of the Davenster Mansion. Well, you know, the, the first thing Snack would do is go to her family tree and see. Yes. Just so happen if Supine is up there. <laughs> yes. You... Uh, well, this is the tree where I did that ritual that one time. Uh huh. What? Tree just. Yeah. Yeah, he did a ritual to, I believe it was Sylvanus. Oh, I don't. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Carry what? on. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I remember that correctly. Yep. That's it, my you family did. tree? It, it was close what? to it, yeah. I did it with permission, too. Uh huh. I, I didn't just do it. I don't remember this at all. Well, <laughs> uh, as you are making your way out and <coughs> to the, it, it's the northern side of the house but it's also you head off to the right um you make your way out there and the first thing that catches your eye 
is the apple tree that was planted uh, a, a good a good ways away from your family tree. But it is young, healthy, and sprouting quite quickly. Like, you, and you you can already see some apples starting to bud on it, which is not normal. It wouldn't have done that in you know a matter a of couple weeks. of weeks. Yeah, um, <laughs> right. but it it is. Uh, but as as you do so, uh, also I will mention there is like just a little bit like a licks of flame cu- coming off the branches. Um, also not exactly Which normal. Which looks but, familiar, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, you continue on your path, which is really only a few more steps. Uh, Mocha has fa- uh, followed you out here, by the way. Um, and you look up into the trees. I'm gonna say, with your passive investigation, you look up, uh, and you do see your brother lounging in the tree. Right now, um, you can hear just a very slight Did you hear that? It's a, it's a good place for a cat nap. Yes. Yeah, it sounded like you were snoring. Good, good, good. good. I was just making sure. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it cuts out that audio and I don't like it. So. Oh, yeah. No, I could hear it. Good. Well, I would be, uh, so I guess I would uh, be as stealthy as possible to All get right. up there. Roll a stealth check. I mean, I doubt he'll ever hear you coming. Right. Yes. With a 28, um, you start curling your way up into the branches. And I would ask for an acrobatics check, but you've literally been in this tree your whole life. Um, yes. <laughs> so you know every branch, every every good handhold, and just comb up it almost like a s- snake just slithering through grass. And eventually you make it. Do you want to be above, below? Um, you can be right at your brother. It any one of those works. Say just below in case. <laughs> in case what you're going to do uh, causes him to... <laughs> to fall. Yeah, exactly. So I'd be able to catch him. Yeah. <laughs> so I would be just slightly uh, below him and I would get into my pack and take out the... Uh... What did I get him? That... You you called it like an infinity. It's it's a cat toy that's an in, like an infinity scarf oh right. i don't remember exactly right how you yes it, yes but... yes i know what you're talking about though there's there's like okay. a I, there's a I there's a it at the... yeah there's a there's a ball inside of this like, there's a ball it, yeah inside of an infinity scarf that like uh-huh. kind of wraps and coils around it and it's just a, like a jointed uh infinity scarf is a good way to put it um yeah but like y- you you try and claw the the ball out of it, and it just keeps on like folding in and around the mechanism. Yeah. Yes. So I would take the. Well, is it soft at all? Like it's. I was thinking it's it got had, some, like, some ply softness. to it. Um, it. I wouldn't call it soft necessarily. Okay. I was trying to think of something I could kind of like tickle his nose with, like. Uh- Understood. Yes, you know, this like, would not be the best thing to do that with. Okay, then I would use like my. Uh, well, I don't have a cloak on. Wait, do I have? You do. <laughs> you have the. Uh, well, unless you well, traded I... out the cloak of the raven for something else. Well, I I am not attuned to it, but does that mean uh, you I can, can still, still be wear wearing it? it? Oh, okay, okay. So I, it's not special, but I'm just wearing. It. Yeah. <laughs> so then I would take like the sleeve of it and just sort of like. T- but yeah, I, would have I mean, toy, you've, it's right? got liter- literal feathers on it. So you yeah, so bring up would, one of the yeah. feathers and start tickling. Um, just give me a slide of hand check. Okay, dokie. All right. Yep, yep, uh, yep. Uh-huh. Uh... 
That's his constitution saving throw. Um, <laughs> a six? Yeah. So you <laughs> tickle his nose, and almost immediately you just get a... <laughs> Uh, as he does that, um, deck save as well. He is a little bit better at these. Um, yeah, he should be. A little. Um, let me make sure of something real quick. I just want to make sure what, uh, saving throws uh, this class gets. Just to make sure if he's proficient or not. That, oh, actually, he is proficient in Constitution, so he would have been better at that. Um, oh, done better at that. Thing. Yeah, still, he still would have failed. He would have got below a ten. Um, <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna do this real quick. And I want to reiterate that if you, I'm ready to catch. Oh uh, yes, you. yes, I, I, I am aware. <laughs> okay. As as he sneezes, and. and like jostles himself out of the tree he does start to fall but almost as soon as he does he just digs his claws in and spins around to the bottom of the branch and is just like hanging on for dear life you can see every hair on the back of his neck is just pointed straight up and as he looks down at you <laughs> I'm glad to just see me. you. But it's just me. <laughs> but 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 shit. <laughs> I would like to think that Mocha would be laughing at this too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh she definitely did. She definitely and she was like standing by as well, making sure, but but as soon as everything <laughs> works out fine, she is she, yeah, giggling to herself at the bottom. <laughs> well, I would I would grab him to help him like come back into the tree and give him uh, a big hug. Uh, I I can get it I can get it myself. Thank you. Uh, he <laughs> he starts to crawl back up onto the branch, and then, oh, I'd still grab him anyway. <laughs> you son of a get I, I, get off me! Come here, you. <laughs> <laughs> he eventually when when it's very clear that he's not going to escape you because your acrobatics is off the charts and his is not uh he just admits defeat and crawls onto the same branch you are <laughs> hello brother hello snack <laughs> look I brought you something oh that's interesting um it's been first, hard not to first things first <laughs> i'm i'm glad you're alive oh yes i'm alive so is mocha yay <laughs> barely <laughs> i wouldn't doubt it uh, how how did it how did it go uh, and he's he's looking down at mocha when he mentions that uh and she just comes back well um it it was an experience of a lifetime and that oh, is all it will to... ever be because I am <laughs> never doing it again. Uh, that that makes sense. Uh, I I felt the same after, you know, it getting sold into a slave ring. Um, but recently I've been feeling a little bit of an itch. So. Oh boy. If it's not one sibling, it's another. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Mocha's <laughs> like, well, I hope that works out very well for you. I will support oh, you boy. all I can, but <laughs> never again for me. Uh, thank you. Um, I will be very much more happy just staying put where I am. I am happy to hear that. Uh, I am happy to be home. Uh as she finishes saying that. So, what happened? Um, where to start? <laughs> I mean, you can give me the short version if you want to, but I do expect a, you know, longer version. Uh, maybe, I guess, Mocha could tell me afterwards, but... Well, that is true. That is true. I don't know how much time I'll be here. Yes. I don't think it's very long. We're still in the midst of things, but uh, 
I definitely wanted to get Mocha back. That was one thing that she really wanted. And of course I wanted as well. Yes, yes, I think that was probably the most important part. Uh, for sure. You know, for, for Mother too. She, uh, eh, she's been a little bit nervous these past few days. Said she... She could feel it. There was something amiss, so... Oh, that makes sense. But with you two here, it seems... Nothing went wrong. Uh. Did, did it? Well. <laughs> <clears throat> Without a hitch. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ishmael. <laughs> well, we I'm did sure what we fine. set out to do, didn't we? You know you're a terrible liar, right? Right. <laughs> and I would think Supine would notice that Ishmael is, like, older. Not just uh, yeah, no, there. like he, 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 <laughs> he, he, he's been like not really paying attention to Ishmael at the moment. Like he's, he's been talking to you two and like he glanced over at Ishmael for a moment, but it's, it's definitely when the voice comes out and it's like noticeably older that he takes a second look. Ishmael is just down here smelling the flowers. <laughs> it was... Was he that old when you guys first uh, came here as a group? He helped rescue you. We, we yeah, 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 no, 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 no. I was wondering. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I recognized him. Uh, mm -hmm. I can Same hear guy. you up there. <laughs> Don't be rude. Let's see if you can. One second. His ears are still decent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your passive perception picks it up. <laughs> at least his, <laughs> at least his part of it. Uh, <laughs> I'd just be like, I'd make a face to Supine and be like, like, kind of like, neck cutting, like, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> as soon as you do that, he, he, he like, is he's about to say something else, and this goes, <laughs> uh, mm. okay. uh, I, I get it. Uh, something that yeah. no I get it I get it no. <laughs> uh, yeah well do you want to spend more time in the tree or do you want to go say hi well I will give dad's branch just okay. like a little a little pat and okay. uh because I, I can't not be in the tree and not of course, of course. Yes. Say hi to him. So, Snack would uh, climb over to Dad's branch and just kind of, I don't know, give it a little, give it a little hug, give it a little pat. Mm -hmm. Like uh, maybe rub on it a little bit with her head or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, yes. Giving it some love. Yes. <laughs> and then, uh, and then happy to head back down to Mocha and Ishmael. Yes, and Supine was already on his way down, giving you a little bit of privacy. Um, roll me a perception check, please. Okay, to beef. All right, seventeen. And my passive is a 22, just want to remind you. <laughs> yes, this is definitely more of an active. More of a specific, okay, uh, like, got it. Like, there's, it's not something that you're, you're just non, Yeah. like, your non-thinking brain would pick up on. Um, okay. You don't notice anything. Just, just making sure you know. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. But... <laughs> If you would like, you can roll on your uh, your uh, Psy talent die, since you did fail the check. Oh, that's true. Let's see. And I did not roll a 10 last time, so it's still a... Uh-huh, it's still a 10. Still a, still a d10. Okay. Yeah. I will do that. With that a 22, which is your passive, 
Yeah. You you get a feeling being here. You recall the the vision that you had while you were peering into the eye back beneath the serpent's teeth. You remember the shadowed visage but something clears away from it and you feel a sense of pride not not from yourself necessarily but a lingering sense of it from somewhere else someone else Mm. Okay. Or at least you think so. With that, <laughs> you... Great. Yes. You climb back down and join your two siblings as well as Ishmael on the ground. Is anybody out in the yard? In the garden? Or no? What time of day is it? That's a good question. Uh, uh, you yeah, guys sure. you guys got into <clears throat> the tavern when it was approaching nightfall, so Oh, Supine well, is like late out here already. Um, okay. you would probably see Emda. Just making outside. her her final okay. evening rounds in the garden. Okay. I would for sure go, uh... uh go give her a big hug. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> Always good I to can... see you back and in one piece. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Agreed. I can never get enough of you. <laughs> how's the... How's the... The garden looks wonderful. You always do such a great job. Well, thank you. It's no thanks to any... Any, like, looks <laughs> to soup. Uh, she, like, looks to supine. Anyone oh. Anyone else around here. Uh, he, oh, well. He uh, tucks yeah. his tail a little bit. Sorry, sorry. Supposed to be helping. <laughs> That's all right. I'm pretty used to it. You're right. I know. Uh, anyways, uh, that's that's the last of it. I am gonna go inside, and I think uh, some nice tea would be a good rounder to the evening. That does sound very nice. Maybe maybe I can go make it for you real quick. That would be nice. If you do, chamomile, yes. please. You bet. Help you sleep. Yes. Yes. Uh, and she, you bet. she follows you inside because <clears throat> she's moving slowly. Do her and Ishmael look like similar in the Very. walking? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Like a cute little couple. <laughs> Almost. Like they're both very hunched over right now. Uh, one's very much bigger Aww. than the other. Um, right. But, oh, speaking of which, she should, she should probably still be uh, this size because she is technically small. Oh, yeah. She, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> She got really big. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, you all start to head inside. As you do make your way into the kitchen, 
you do catch sight of... Oh, goodness. I need to bring up another map. One second. You do catch sight of your mother. Uh, what? Firefly! Yes, I need to bring you all in to... Well, see, I gotta delete some folks again. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Oh, later. yeah. <laughs> Goodbye! Um, and then... And then... Uh, one, two, three, four... Beautiful. We got you guys. Now I just need to go. And. Oh, why? No, that should not be there. Um. All right, you guys all enter from this side. She's over here. Okay. Whoop. Oh man, I haven't seen this place. I know. Uh, like, hope sweet help. Uh huh. You, <laughs> you do uh, catch her. Right now, she is uh, pouring the last bit of the water out onto the flame proper to get it died down for the evening. Um, that is in the kitchen, um, where they do most of the cooking by fire. Um, they're, ah, I'm taking that back. They probably have the technology, uh, from the Izet League to cook properly. So she's probably just making sure everything is tidied up, tended to, and that there is no heat still turned on. Um, but I would, I would need some heat to make some tea, so <laughs> I'd as... be like, wait, wait, wait. Don't as, touch that dial. <laughs> as as you say that, she snack. You know what you do first when you come home. Come here, and she <laughs> gets oh, briskly, sure. yes, up to you, and then uh, wraps you up. Uh, not soon. Uh, not not far later. She. You feel the arm lift off. You know she's beckoning Mocha closer. Uh-huh. And okay, yeah, yes, like group all, of, all of you are in, and then she, both you two are in, and then she makes it so Supine comes in too. Yeah, and it's just, a kitty pile. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, a, a big old wrap, a mother bear hug for certain, and Aww. she probably holds it for about a minute. And then just <laughs> makes a big breath of relief. And then oh. <sighs> the first person she looks at is Mocha after that. Mm. You look different. What happened? So about that, um... I... Snack would definitely busy herself with making tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just moves away. Just uh, right away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you hear in the background with your passive reception. Um, so, uh, I may or may not have um, died once uh, while <coughs> adventuring. Uh, and she, she gets this out. And you don't see it, but you can feel it. Um, mm-hmm. Daggers <laughs> yeah. in your back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. She then. Well. You're alive now. 
I guess we have someone to thank for bringing you back. Never do that again, please. She just... By the way, I should bring you all in because you are closer now. Uh, you can be off to the side. And Mocha comes back. Uh, don't worry, I never planned to. Um, that was... That was something that... Uh, it, it, I think the... <laughs> curiosity wore off when it... <laughs> I will... I will refrain from making the pun. Alright. <laughs> she she says that and <laughs> Firefly like you you once again you don't see it because you're busy making chamomile tea but uh -huh. you can feel her her face go into that very like you were really gonna say that <laughs> like <laughs> I'm glad you didn't um and Supine is just like yeah I'm definitely uh Mm, I'm glad they're back. I'm glad she's not... <sighs> like, you, you, can, you can hear the understanding coming out of his voice just from what he had to go through. And, you know, yeah. multiple times thinking he was probably going to, um, mm -hmm. but never happened. So, I would like to hear what happened to make this little foyer into the unknown. And she, you can hear the voice as it is speaking, turns in your direction. You notice it with your passive perception. I mean, she's talking to me. Yep. <laughs> I, 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 even though I know who she is, I just, <laughs> I still just be like, do, 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 do. Uh, I know I you get... can hear me. And you can't... not her tea. She needs her tea. <laughs> you can't lie to me. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not lying. I... Oh, it sure seems like it when you keep... No. When you're no, 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 just... No, no. <laughs> Either that or you're just not paying attention to me. And I think I well, used you better than that. Oh, yes, for sure you did. Yes, ma'am, of course. Yes. Um, I, you know, I didn't really want Mocha to come, but she felt like she had to. And we did really need her. So it was very important that she came. But it, uh, there's it, a lot of words being said. I would like uh, to know what happened. Well, <laughs> And a lot. I I uh I don't even know if I can put it into words. We closed the conversions. Thank you, Ishmael. Ishmael will tell you, Mom. I gotta get this tea in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If I can't get it from the cat's mouth, I might as well get it from the cows. I guess. <laughs> There you go. I don't I don't mean disrespect. It's just hmm. As I'd walk by Ishmael I'd be like, give it to Razy. <laughs> I could just leave out all the death so. <laughs> uh, she I, I'm trying to protect my mom yes, from like, she does the she does stuff. walk over to Ishmael after being presented that opportunity. So, in your words, what happened? Your daughters did well. Mocha led us to the Convergence with her sensing. We had big obstacles to overcome, and they were both extremely useful. 
wouldn't be alive here today without either of them. As I would, I would like you to make a persuasion check for me. Um, I'm gonna say with advantage. I'll have to open. No worries. Sheet. Take your time. We are not in a hurry this evening. <laughs> yeah, which is nice. <laughs> Who wants the persuasion? That would be me. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, you can roll oh. again because you have yeah. advantage. Hey, all right. Thank goodness. <laughs> Pretty sure we haven't slept, so luck is out. <laughs> Correct. Oh, it, actually, th th that is a good point. Um, you, oh, you did oh, you did long rest, but you still have two points of exhaustion, so the advantage and the disadvantage cancel each other out. Um, oh. So, okay. uh, with a fourteen. Well, then, uh, then I'm. Well, gonna should use his luck. three be a two? You can use luck. Yes, that is fine. Is that what the three is for? His exhaustion points. Uh, yes, it should be yeah. a two. You are correct. Okay, oh, at least that'd be good. Oh, only two points higher, ladies and gentlemen. Well, yeah, it's three. Three. Um, three. Yeah. Three. three. Still. Yeah. Plus, it, uh, you are no, already no, no, no. very close with a 14. Um, and Firefly wants to believe what he's saying. Ex yes. <laughs> she By she the way, her. like you, you notice when she walks up to you, she initially is you know, aggravated uh, and is showing it plain on her face, but as you are speaking and she notices your age, her eyes soften and you do see more more pity, concern, and compassion um, than being aggravated by the time you finish speaking. Well, I'm glad you all made it out then. It would seem that we you had more obstacles to overtake than even death itself. Well, it was important what we did. We did succeed. We were all here now. It's well, I'm glad to hear it. Even if my daughter won't tell me. Give her some time. It was... an I... adventure. I understand, and I... I'm sure she's going to go off again. Could never keep that one in the house. Smack? Mm. Mm. She was always at that tree, and when she wasn't at that tree, she was finding other mischief to get into. Well, I'm sure you'll have at least one daughter that stays home now. We'll see but how I'll long it takes. But I'll protect Smack with everything that I have. I thank you for that. And I'm sure I'll get what happened out of Moki here sooner or later. I just want it out of the one who should be responsible. <laughs> Anyways. Well. I thank you for your kind words. Yes, I'll let you get to your family time. I just wanted to see Mocha home safe before I said goodbye. I thank you for that. Make sure you do as well. Man. Mocha, best of luck. I... Thank you for your assistance. I have no words to express how grateful I am for it. All of you. I'll let everybody know. Thank you. And I'll slowly hobble out and 
walk past Snack. Oh, Ishmael, your tea. <laughs> Did you want? Some I have tea? a long walk home. I might oh. pass out before you... <laughs> I get there if I drink the tea. <laughs> well, but thank you. you. But should you not go alone? Do. You... Well, you're home now. I just I know. wanted to see Mocha home before the night, so I will see you tomorrow. Very sweet. Enjoy you... your time with your family. Aww. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming to speak with my mom and and to see Mocha back safely. I appreciate that. You're welcome, Snap. He will head out. Exit C. <laughs> you start no to... No <laughs> you, you exit the main chamber of the Davenster estate. And as you close the door behind you, Gwendolyn and Victoria are walking down the stairs. Um, whereas last time you came upon them, they were in a heated debate of whether Victoria should be going to a party or not. Um, you see that the two of them are speaking, for lack of a better term, like almost cattily uh, and giggling at each other. Um, and I'd say with your passive perception, you probably catch just the tail end of it. So he, he is really charming then. He, he's, he's, and he's honest. Yes, mother, he's, he's more than what I thought he'd be. As that finishes, Gwendolyn does turn and notices you back, Mocha and Snack. And both of them, as quickly as they can in their long nightgowns, um, come down the stairs. Snack, Mocha, it is great to see you both back here. So good. So good to see you and to be back home and to have Mocha safe again. Victoria is the first up to you and does, does hold out for a hug. Oh, for sure. Yes. Uh, Definitely. Big squeezes. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, Gwendolyn made it over to Mocha, and the rounds are being made. Um, <laughs> how, how long are you staying for? Snack would, like, look at Firefly and then <laughs> who, look. Who <laughs> looks at you, like, with, like, Kind of wide, wide eyes, then shrugs. <laughs> like, yeah, that's up to you. Yeah, and I just feel like, unfortunately, probably not long. There's still so many things that need to be done. I, I wish I could stay. That I is all do. right. Because I know you have great things to get to. You always have. But, I would say, at least stay tonight. I know Alistair had some things to discuss with you. Oh, yes. Well, that does... That does sound nice, to be able to sleep at home for at least one night. So, I think... Hopefully yeah. you still know what it feels like to sleep in a soft bed. Uh... That is the most wonderful thing I've heard in a long time. <laughs> well, we will run a bath for you, if that is to your liking. Oh, and... I could I could do it. You don't have to do it. Well, it's not every day you get to come home. Might as well treat you while you're here. Oh. <laughs> That's really sweet. Snacks' eyes would definitely, like, listen a little to that just kind of remembering how much these people mean to her and, mm -hmm. and how much she's missed them 
Uh, and just their generosity to yes. her and her family. Yeah, and she, Gwendolyn definitely has like been holding on to your hands as she's been saying this and just gives him a good squeeze after saying that. I'll get it started right away. And she heads up the stairs. Thank you. Well, how was it? Victoria is now speaking. <laughs> Snack's just continuing her, like, scratch in the back of her head, like... Uh, uh, Victoria then, like, uh, looking <laughs> uh, very quickly over to Firefly and then back to you, like, uh, brings you over to the corner of the room, kind of by the fireplace. Uh-huh. You can you can give me all the dirty details. I don't I don't mind. I'm not I'm not your mother. <laughs> well, no, I know. I just I don't want to make it sound like I'm glorifying any of these you know adventures. I mean, yes, they are exciting and scary and well, part of it is exhilarating, glory, isn't it? Well, I... for me, no. <laughs> It's, I just found these people that I'm now so close to, and we're really doing some big things that I feel are so important to everyone. So I just want to stay focused and help them as much as I can. But I, I do miss being here and being with the family. I just feel like this is so important. Well, I guess once you get done with the adventuring life, come on, you, you got to tell me all about it, because <laughs> I'm honestly dying to know. And I, I know I'll get it from Mocha, but... Oh, for sure. <laughs> Maybe we'll write a book someday about our adventures. Oh, that? Yeah. Well, you would now like you that, have you? to tell me, because yeah. I, I feel like, <laughs> oh, I kind of want to start writing. Well, it would it would make for some good storytelling, that's for sure. I mean, we've only been gone for what a couple of weeks, but it, ugh, the things we've seen and done and been through and hell and back, it's I'm you sure. could fill many volumes. <laughs> I'm sure. So. Um, but just just to let you know, since since you don't want to share with me. Um, which she's being very like coy about that. She 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 knows uh -huh. you're fine, but yeah. um, <laughs> Supine has been acting a little bit stir crazy. Oh boy, we know how that turned out last time. I'm not saying that we should, you know, barricade him in a room or anything. Although oh, it might no, not be a, that would it might not be a terrible idea. Um, well, that, I feel like that would make things worse. I could agree. Um, <laughs> but what I've noticed is Clarence is kind of buying into it as well. Oh no! So just be aware. And maybe, I don't know if you could talk him out of it somehow, but at least in the times we're in, um, I mean, the Chamber of the Guild Pact only fell a few weeks ago. And I, I know that that's close to here. That's close to home. So... I'm I'm worried for him if he goes out there on his own with Clarence. I'm worried for them both, really. Yeah, that that would not be. I mean, they're a great duo, but not for the danger that would await. Um, huh? Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna have to think about a way for them to. Maybe help with the recovery of, um, or the rebuilding. Maybe that could be that. That could be something. Good. 
I, I know he... <clears throat> he looks up to you a lot. I think that's part of the reason why he wants... He, he's been talking about leaving the city again. Or mm. at least the 10th district. Um... If you, if you don't talk about it, I talk him out of it. I, I can, I can talk to Dad, see if he can get him on a, a relatively safe caravan with plenty of guards. Well, I do appreciate that, and it does. It makes sense, but I don't know if that's going to be enough for him. You know to. To quelch that feeling of of wanting to go, um, I'll have to think. The wanderlust, right? Right, exactly. Which it seems to run in the family. <laughs> uh, I I didn't say it. Um, no, I know it. <laughs> but I can I can definitely get where they're coming from. Mine is just in a different vein. I will talk to him, though, and see what his thoughts are. I mean... All right. It couldn't It couldn't hurt, to at least. He could do some real good, too. I mean, I know they... If I wasn't going back out, you know, I would, I would help with the rebuilding, because it's going to take a lot. Yeah. So... Yeah. I don't know if it'll be enough, but it would be nice for him to be able to... Stay close. Yeah. We'll see. Um, if, but thank if, you for letting me know. Yes. If not, uh, at least at least get it into their heads that it's it's definitely not, which I know he already knows that, that it's not safe out there. Oh, right. Yeah, he, of all people, should know. <laughs> but that, especially now, it just seems like things are escalating. More than usual, which is <laughs> in the tenth district, is uh, saying something. Yeah, that's true. I think you're right. More than I've even noticed because of you know I haven't been here. Well, I'm sure you'll get some of that when Dad talks to you, but until then. Get comfy. Have a good night. Oh, and... yes. I'm looking forward to this bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure Mother's pulling out all the stops. So. <laughs> With that, she starts heading it back up. And then almost immediately turns around. I forgot what I was down here for. You were making tea, right? <laughs> yes. Did you want I was going some? to make some, yes. <laughs> oh, please. She, Allow me. Yes. She, uh, she uh, <laughs> waits for a moment, uh, speaks with Mocha for a second. You you pick up on, she's she's basically trying to get details from her too, and Mocha's being a lot like where you were, being deflective at the moment. Um, <laughs> and she, you can tell that she's she's prodding at her a little bit more mostly because she knows that she's going to be sticking around um and she believes she can break down that barrier eventually um quicker <laughs> yeah so the tea is made you provide it to everyone who wanted it uh mocha will certainly take some emda obviously uh she yeah actually uh, pulled out her own cup, which is bigger than all of yours, um, comically so. Um, and Supine doesn't partake. Before I head up to the bath, which does sound very nice, um, I would go and and give my mom like one more really good Good squeeze. Don't say anything. Just really good, good hug. She 
she definitely gives a, a look like you can you can see the creases of her mouth spread a little bit and she she definitely like holds you and you feel the sigh come out you better be safe out there always am and then I just scurry off <laughs> you hear a, one more sigh come out um, before you head up uh, you see uh, Gwendolyn there sitting at the rim of a very uh, I would say it's it's ordained, but it's not like lavish. It's not like a golden tub or anything. It's it's oh good. Yes, it's it's wooden and it has some like silver filigree on it. Um, but like it is a full it is a full tub, like something you could easily stretch out in. Um, and she says. Go ahead and come over. If you would like, I can... I can... clean any areas that you would like. But... <laughs> but if you would like your privacy as well. I appreciate the offer, but yes, I think I'm just gonna soak. <laughs> soak it in. Understood. Um, yeah. If you... If you want them, they are here. Uh, uh, she points out... Uh, three different bottles. Um, there's some bubbles, there's some salts, and there are some uh, essential oils. Whatever you, you might fancy. But with that, I will take my leave. I would definitely give her another big hug. Thank you for this. You are very welcome, my dear. And I hope it is a pleasant reprieve. I'm sure. <laughs> Unlike any I've had in a long time. Yes. With that. And thank you for also keeping an eye on my family and taking good care of them. Even though I know they're here to take care of you, I know you are also watching over them. And I appreciate that. Well, we wouldn't be anywhere without them. And well, we'd be somewhere, but it wouldn't be nearly as lively. So, <laughs> well, that is true. <laughs> she just gives one more very quiet smile and very gracefully, because you've never known her to be anything but walks yeah. out of the room. Almost as if she's floating. With that, you soak in this tub. You are able to let a lot of the the tension, the nerves, all of this the the buildup of mental wounds starts to alleviate memories and thoughts of your family where where dragons stand, they are replaced by the memory of what you're here to protect. Why you are facing what you're facing. It brings a sense of calm, a little bit of pride, 
a little bit of fear. But more than anything, the necessity of it all. And the desire to keep these people far, far away from the harm that you face every day. And hopefully sometime soon, you won't have to. Roll me a constitution saving throw to make sure you don't fall asleep in the bath. <laughs> I was definitely going to do that. <laughs> You manage, but it definitely is hard not to. Right. And you find <laughs> yourself relaxing. Yes. You find yourself afterwards, after all of that tension is released and you are out of the tub. You're very tired. <laughs> like, you don't have a yeah. point of exhaustion, but you should, really. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Yep. Good sleep. That yes. sounds very nice. And you fall asleep? I would like to pan over to Ishmael real quick. As you leave the Davenster estate, and are walking back on your way, uh, Ishmael is here, correct? Just to make sure. I'm here. Okay. Would you roll me a perception check, please? Perception. The disadvantage? No. Already pretty bad. Oh, yeah, from the <laughs> frickin' yeah. <laughs> Yeah. From exhaustion, yeah. yep. Whew. These words are so small and so old. <laughs> so ah, perception. <laughs> well, it was the same number hey, both well, times. No easy, worries. Um, Good job. That's an eight. Uh, so, you are on your way back. Slowly but surely. If you would like, you can summon Stubes to expedite the process. Where, well, are, where are you have... heading for the night, I should ask? I'll head back to the Boros. All right. So you are heading to the Legion then. With that, mm -hmm. I will grab you. Well, I, not much needs to be said. There's not... There's not a whole lot of people in in the Legion proper. There's a couple trainees that are still striking dummies and sparring with each other. But for the most part, it is died down. And you can find your spot, um, which has been elevated above the barracks at this point. Um, you have your own officer's quarters at this moment. Yeah, buddy. You find it, as well as a very well-made and soft bed. One that you can rest your weary bones in. Yeah, I'll try to doff my armor, and I can't, like, reach the back strap. It takes <laughs> me a minute. And then I lay down for the night. Beautiful. Everything all neat. Neat as fuck. Set my armor all up. Mm -hmm. Clean my hammer up. Very organized. That way, if anything does happen in the night, you know where everything is. Fuck. 
after you fall asleep. So does Mocha. Is there anything else that anyone else would like to do before you all pass out for the evening? Um, Isaiah is back. He's just turning his computer on. Beautiful. My question still stands. Is there any of you who would like to do anything before this evening draws to a close? The only thing that uh, Apple and Junior were going to do is just kind of hang out and kind of like um, maybe get Junior tended to a little bit and just kind of relax. Is this and... being back like we just got back? Are you asking me? Sorry, I realized I was still unmuted, so I muted again to catch him up. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> All right, so uh, you're just getting Junior tended to? Is that what I Pretty heard? much. Okay. Pretty much. All right. Uh, you come to V2 Ghazi. Um, there you see a few people still milling about, but it is late in the evening. Um, you do not Just see... Uh, and Umber. <laughs> and, and Umber, <laughs> definitely. Uh... Oh, I don't know why I'm freaking blanking on her name. That makes me mad. Um... Who are you trying to think of? Well, I should ask you, shouldn't I? Um, it is Abraham's <laughs> uh, mentor. So, I mean, he would know. Oh. Abe's mentor. Let's see if I wrote that. And I know I have it in Abe's backstory. I just forget where I frickin' placed that. Sear it then, Donald. That's what I said. Thank you. Oh, there you go. He's you almost do, there. He's opening do, this yes. He's so close. <laughs> you do not see Sirith and Donal in, in the general vicinity. Um, but you do see a a fairly large Luxodon in in white and green robes. Uh tending to the garden for the last little bit. I he am speaking. Busy. Never mind. Oh. He, I mean, he 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 looks busy-ish. He's being he's being fairly s slow and methodical about it, which most Luxodon are, except for the one that I know. Yeah, he is definitely an an, an enigma <laughs> and a an element of chaos. An element of chaos. Yeah. Good evening. Ah, uh, good to see you, sir. I, I'm i sorry. I forgot your name. I am Apple. And this I'm is just my boy kidding. Junior. I'm an elephant. Elephants oh. never forget. Apple. Oh, 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 oh. oh you. <laughs> so we you just came back into town, and would you, would you be able to look at Junior and just give him a once over? Certainly. Uh, he finishes the thing he was doing, which uh, was replanting a sapling. It doesn't take him overly long once uh, he is given a new task. Junior's just going to plop down on his butt. He brisk, well, not briskly, uh, saunters over. looks at a few of the branches. Oh, I can tell you got into a few scuffles. I am Groot. <laughs> certainly, certainly. 
Uh, by the way, uh, if if Junior wants to say anything, actually, uh, he, this this Luxodon certainly knows Sylvan. Oh, that's right. I fought a dragon. <laughs> well. I threw something... a cannon off a ship. Ooh, that there's a lot of that's that's cool. What else? I walked you... on the ceiling of a cave. The ceiling? How did you do that? I watched a spider do it once. You you learn quickly then, or well, I guess. Me very smart. <laughs> Uh, Apple? Certainly. Uh, he takes it from Junior. And does start eating it. About... Oh, I'll keep going. Oh, that for later. You can finish work. Oh, okay. Understood. Uh, yes. Uh, he... It, I mean, he's still eating it because he's using his trunk and his hands are free. Um, uh. Uh, but he he goes around Junior a few times, um, checking uh, his roots, checking his limbs, checking his branches, and eventually... Okay, let's take a peek at your inner flame real quick. And just, like, kind of nonchalantly, just, like, not sticks it in, but, like, is is has both hands on his mouth and is just looking inside. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh. Uh. Oh. Those weren't there before. I hmm. <laughs> Well, there's some sprouts. Uh, oh, uh, 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 he he lets go and comes back. There's some sprouts in on the inside of your trunk. Oh. Be doop. Be doop. Anyways, um, I'm I'm not sure what that means, but maybe you're growing. Can I do a nature check to uh, take a peek? Yeah, go for it. Ooh. With a 22, you you look up and down, uh, noticing what he did, uh, and it looks like there are... It, it honestly looks like small embers, but you can see that they are growing off stems that are... that are protruding from the interior of... like... A, around and up uh, the interior of his trunk. All kind of around the inner flame that is still burning bright. Okay. So what do I what do I kind of think it might be? I think it's just more growth or like I mean it it seems like more growth um asexual reproduction to uh, to to know ex I, I mean a nature check probably would do it I was thinking about a history but I don't I don't think you need that um your guess I mean it's it's rare for things to grow and also have an element of fire just inherently about them. You know that it takes 
fire to make new growth. Like you, you've seen, yeah, the process of wildfire, and you know how it operates. Um, this is very akin to that, and where it's it's happening on the interior. I mean. It might be a spark for growth. It might be... It's Neat. it's hard hard to say other than that. Like, it, it seems like it's... Like he's, he's growing somewhat. Or maybe something's growing inside him. You, you're not sure, but whatever it is, it, it doesn't seem bad. Okay. Believe it. All right. Anything else from Apple? Uh, Junior's gonna give him give the Loxodon another apple and ask him to pl- ask him if he wants to plant it that would be very interesting y- you don't have to give me another apple though I've got the seeds of the one I was snacking he gives him on. two more okay um, I guess we'll make sure something grows thank you you're very welcome. <laughs> he then saunters off and and does fairly quickly get to planting some seeds. Well, as long as you're all right, I guess it is time for bed then. I'm gonna go find a nice big tree. A bigger, bigger tree lay down underneath it. All right. The end. Yes. Uh, as you do so, um, it's it's nice being here. It's nice being in one of these these valleys of the roots of Vitu Ghazi. Here it seems more like the tree could protect you from any harm that might come your way. And it is a very comforting thought. It is the final one yes. that you have before you drift off to sleep. I will ask if anyone else has anything they would like to do before the night comes to a close. I believe Vasul, Ezra, and Abraham have not had their nightly recap. Or nightcap, I guess I should say. Well, um, after a very trying day, uh, probably retire to my abode, my hut in Precinct 3. You do so. You make your way, uh, Ezra behind you, because she has had asked prior if it would be alright if she spent the night. As you find yourselves in this small abode, you find yourselves It is an interesting feeling being back in such a small space. These past few months have made you realize just how big the world is. And for this brief moment where you have a place that is small, sequestered, somewhat solitary, it's a pretty nice moment.
Damn. Yes. <clears throat> what? I feel like... With everything that's happened... I struggle... To just... Ease my mind. You know how to meditate, right? I could certainly guide you through a meditation. Uh, we, we are at my hut, Yes, right? you are inside. So I, I would does, like to... Does uh, Umber fit inside? <laughs> uh, I will leave that up to Abraham. How big is your hut? Oh, well, my hut's plenty big. Okay. Like, it's a pretty nor normal amount of floor space for like like a studio apartment kind of big. Uh, have you ever been inside a yurt? Is it kind of like that? Kind of, yeah. I'd say it's a, maybe about yurt, if not slightly larger. Okay, just, just a bit. It, it's, it's a fairly open floor plan. Right. Abe just owns very little stuff. <laughs> right, right. But uh, I, I will go to the tatami mat at the center of the room, and I will kind of shift it a, just a skew of center, and kind of gesture that she, she can sit on it as I take, like, kind of sit down crisscross in front of it. I, I only have it. the one mat, but you can use it. I'll just sit on the ground. It doesn't bother me. Well, I could bring up my bedroll. Mm -hmm. Bedrolls could work too. I just don't want you to be on the ground. That's all right. I I offer the tatami mat freely. I'll sit down. But uh, so we've established that Umber is inside with us. Yes. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I w I will actually he can walk... do what he wants at that point. <laughs> I I to. Because she expressed uh, concern about Abe's comfort, he will walk over to the, the wardrobe. He will open it, take a single pair of pants out, fold them and set them <laughs> on the ground and then sit on top of the Beautiful. Pants. Okay. Uh, with, with that, uh, the only other thing I would say is if you do want Chala to be out of the necklace at any point, um, then both of them being inside this close, close space would be eh. Um, but that is the only thing I would say. Chala can stay where Chala is for now. Yes. So, um, have you ever practiced meditation before? I mean, I've tried to calm my mind, but I don't know if that's meditating. I haven't really had anyone teach me. So I guess I kind of just do my own thing. It's not so much something that is taught. It's not nearly so academic as that. It's more felt. That's, I think, part of why we uh, refer to it not as teaching meditation, but guiding it. it. I am only an exterior force that can move the flow of the river, but not truly change its destination. It will always flow downstream, just as your traversal through your own mind is not something that I can affect. I can only, in a meaningful way, it's just something I can help you to navigate. Well, when you say the traversal of one's mind, I don't, I mean, I guess I'm just, that I'm, stresses me out in the sense of, I, I, there are things that I don't always like thinking about. I, I, I might be, I might be getting a little too into the weeds. Um, let, we'll start with something simple. How about just breath? You are a performer. I, I've heard you play your songs, I've heard you sing them, you have wonderful lung capacity, I already know, so this should come naturally to you. We're just going to breathe in deeply, 
then we're going to hold that breath just for a few moments before releasing it back out. And that is what we will focus on for now. Just the in and the out. And Abe will just kind of maintain that for a handful of minutes, just kind of getting the breathing on on rhythm. Uh, and once he starts to feel like, you know, because he, he's... As the process would go along, he would kind of, you know, encourage Ezra to close her eyes and just focus on breathing, but he would be observing, and if she reached a point where she started to relax, he would then start to kind of get a little more into the meditation, basically. The question and, is, do I start to relax? That, that is the <laughs> what I would say. Since you are being guided by Abraham, a monk, <laughs> yes, you don't have advantage, but uh, are you proficient in wisdom saves? No, I am not. You are for this one. Okay. Uh, by the way, I need to go to the bathroom real quick, so I will be right back. And let me know what that 17 means when he gets back. <laughs> <laughs> is she relaxing? Is she, is she relaxing? Is she is relaxed? She, she has a lot of she, drama and it just she, kept coming this trip. <laughs> exactly. So I'm like, maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> maybe it's a real high threshold. We'll see. <laughs> maybe with Umber there, that's helping? Hopefully. Maybe. I mean, that's up to Tori. I don't that's, know what I'm yeah. just doing. He's in here actually, somewhere, and I, I have no idea what he's doing. What he's doing. <laughs> exactly. He's I and Abe. I'm he's guessing doing. he's sitting right next to me, I and Abe. <laughs> yeah. I could see I him, like, wrapped around me. I don't actually know what he is, but I could see him, like, having uh -huh. me If being, like, I were a dog in a new place, uh -huh. he would probably be sniffing stuff. That's true. And or peeing but... on something, depending on how wild he is. <laughs> we don't know how dog-like he is. We know he's, like, kind of dog. Well, if he's but a wolf-like, I... then he's probably peeing on something. That's true. <laughs> but we, I don't know what animal he is at all. Even the no, 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 no! But damn it! Right? Just, he's a canid of That's some sort. wardrobe! Outside! Outside! <laughs> he's smart, though. Gotta put he's down smarter than a dog. I mean, just because he he's smart doesn't mean he's not going to pee on something. That's true, but... <laughs> I've worked with a lot of dogs. That's true. But I would say this dog, who can understand everything I'm saying to it, probably is smarter than any dog you've met. <laughs> well, I mean, just because they understand human speech doesn't mean they don't have a base instinct of, this is mine, I make it smell like me. That's true. Mark, mark That's it. true. That's true. Those instincts are strong. But, I, but I'm not the DM, so. <laughs> yeah. We'll see if Torn makes him pee on everything. Pee on everything. Did Torn get up? Yeah. He's going he to the bathroom. To, he, went, he went to the bathroom. Yeah. He's doing what Umber's going to do in a second. Right. <laughs> so, how was the session thus far, everybody? So nice Sweat. to not miss all of it. Have some downtime. I know, yay! Angela's racist against reptiles. I am. <laughs> yep. Understandable. Yeah, she is. <laughs> it was Except a huge she thing. Well, there's like snakes and trees. Oh boy. No, I said I love turtles. Didn't you see my joke? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you see my joke? <laughs> Didn't you see it? I like turtles. <laughs> nope. I love apple. Just other Fair. turtles. I hate. I Fair. hate. Yeah. <laughs> hate them. How do you feel about Umber, Mrs. Cat Lady? You know, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I'm keeping my distance. He's getting awfully big. <laughs> he is big. <laughs> when he was little, He's when you first got him, I was like, "Oh, okay, this could work." And then he came out of that thing, and he's like gigantic, and also. Chala is not, I wouldn't think, easy to to wound. As, you know, when I saw that, I was like, Ugh. 
Well, yeah, well, he Oliver is, too he was, was wounded. wounded. Yeah. He I also I know. is made of obsidian. So if she tried to bite him or anything, it would hurt, it would hurt her. Yeah, that's true. So, but also he is the same height as me. Sta I'm standing at full, which Ezra is five eight. <laughs> And he's, yeah, his head is along with mine. It's right, it's <laughs> on all fours. Very, very big, yeah. Big boy. <laughs> yes, it's pretty massive. I hope he's not peeing on your stuff, Abe. <laughs> <laughs> Bad dog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, we don't do that, and we're guests. And I know I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Outside. <laughs> I hope Torn is having a good bathroom session. Everything's coming out nicely. <laughs> Everything's just smooth sailing. Just yeah. <laughs> I always and forget about that. I he can be like, be right back, and we just leave when we're not a part of the, you know. But we don't he's, think about it. He's like in the thick of it all the time. <laughs> also, I, would, I just I remembered would... we are uh, being recorded. Oh yeah. But yes, this, you are. This, I would think all this would be. <laughs> oh, it, it definitely well, will be. I wish. I wish want. you. I wish you smooth sailing. <laughs> well, yes. Thank you. It did. It did go fairly smooth. Thanks. Oh, good. Okay. Good. That's good. I'm, I'm glad my vibes helped. Yeah. <laughs> Report back. Um, we were also discussing it. What Umber's doing? AJ thinks he's peeing everywhere. Yeah. Absolutely. He's marking he's territory. Yes. Yeah, yes. I wouldn't say everywhere, but everywhere. I would say a lot of places. In my head, I was like, he's probably wrapped around me, eyeing Abe. <laughs> Uh, but I leave that up to you. Abe would probably recommend that Umber give you a little bit of space for a meditation. It can be distracting when something else is, you know. He was actually already sitting off to the side and he's been listening and you can hear him breathing as well. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. He we'll meditating do, too. We'll do something for him real quick. He needs to roll a wisdom save as well. Uh huh. Let's see. All right, he's not proficient in saves yet, but he can understand common. So with that, let's see, it would be a plus seven. So we'll just roll an insight. It'll be the same number. Ezra with a 17, uh, that, that is the full extent of it, correct? Yes. Okay. You, you do find yourself, after a few minutes, you, you had to kind of put your mind in that space, had to regulate your breathing, but it starts to become more natural as the slow breathing starts to envelop. And you find yourself and your mind starting to quiet somewhat. All right, Abe, it does sound like she does relax. All right. Now, maintaining your current rate of breath, just in on a four, Hold for four, out for eight. I want you to picture yourself standing on a lily-covered bank of a river. Feel 
the grass underneath your feet, the petals brushing past your ankles as you slowly walk barefoot into the stream, up to about just below the knee. Feel the water rush gently past your legs. Now I want you to visualize not perfectly, but in some manifestation, some representation, whatever it is that is troubling you, whatever it is that sets your mind askew, makes you toss and turn, I want you to picture it in the palms of your hand. And I want you to reach down into that river. It can be one thing or many. The amount of things you wish to do this exercise with is completely up to you. But I want you to just start with one. I want you to visualize it. I want you to picture lowering it down into the current. I want you to breathe in and hold, feeling the water rush over your hands. And as you release your breath, I want you to release that representation to the flow. And as it floats away, feel a weight lift from your shoulders. With that, you may do one more wisdom save. This time, you are proficient and add a d4. Also, Abraham, please get an inspiration for me. Oh, thank you, DM. You are welcome. You were able to maintain that space of comfort and have it grow somewhat. You do feel as you let go, some weight has been lifted. It is, it is not gone, but some elements of it that were holding you down are. And you feel a sense of clarity, not full, but it is there. Um, but... He rolled the same thing he did before. Does, does he, he get a plus? He does. He does. I will be. I will be rolling. I hope it brings him some peace. He does seem slightly calmer than when he started. Well, that was a nice experience. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Water has always been a very soothing inspiration for me. It helped me a lot when I first came to the Conclave. Did I notice Umber Meditating at all, or have I noticed him now? With your passive perception, you could have. You could have understood well 
you could have told that he wasn't wrapped around you and he wasn't very like close to your person, which he has been perpetually. Um, it it definitely would have come as a a point of recognition for you. Yes. It seems I'm not the only one that got a little piece from it. You do hear just a low rumble, not not a growl, but like a is a like hmm. like a yeah 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 basically. <laughs> I told you he wasn't bad. <laughs> that you hear, uh, uh, just a, a little. <laughs> He's in his teenage phase. <laughs> Ezra, I I know that the exercise I led you through is probably, you know, pleasant, but if you ever want to deal with anything a little more heavy, I am also here always willing to guide you through. I know I needed a lot of guidance when I started. And meditation? My, my mentor, Serafin, uh, taught me that water is one of the best tools for meditation because it is natural. It carves away earth. It carves away stone. It moves, and we can't really stop it from moving. Not truly. It is a force unto itself. And a very good uh, symbol for <laughs> much of life. But I, I don't need to bore you with meditation theory. Uh, do you, you need something to eat or drink? I, I don't usually have people over for extended periods of time. Um, I feel I'm being a very poor host. Well, first thing, you're not boring me when you talk about meditation is something I asked about. Second thing, we probably should eat. At least, I'm guessing Umber's hungry. Yes, uh, first, first food, first food. And, um, I'll... <laughs> I don't know. I, don't I know, that, even... I know okay. that he doesn't like peas, but I haven't found anything else yet that he doesn't like. Um, could I spend some time foraging around the conclave? <laughs> We could probably find food somewhere. You don't have to cook something for so, us. So, um, there is no shortage of grown food around V2 Gazi. Um, it is part of the communal living space that you find yourself in. That being said, it's up to you what you want to eat. If you want just vegetables and other grown fruit then that is easy enough to come by if you want something a little bit more or richer or something uh, cooked by someone else you could go out and find it you know what I wouldn't mind yes a bowl of hot soup I think we can work that out. I I did before we leave though if we if we are going to go out um not to I I don't really know how to approach the topic. Um I don't want to put you off of you know, your appetite, but 
I figured, you know, post-meditation, and I was preferring post-snack, but... Before we leave, I felt I should speak to you about this when it's just the two of us. Before we left the 10th District, the last time we were here, I met with a contact. A agent of the Demir. Really, I, I don't know them particularly well. Um, it's more so that I know someone else, and they sent me this random, very frustratingly. But in my attempt to gather information on the Raven and Lamandra's whereabouts, I was given a task. And whether that task be completed, I felt was best to leave it up to you. I didn't... I didn't broach the subject when we were on the boat, because I, f I felt like it was maybe not the best time. We were very focused, but with you Amandra being it, our next focus... You did mention it, then. I, I had mentioned it, but I have not gotten into details. I was tasked with removing someone by the name of Clint. Someone who I do believe to be your Clint. And I did not want to move on that without discussing it with you first. As the Demir, when they talk about the removal of someone, something, typically leave much up to interpretation. They are rarely straightforward with their meaning, but I gather that they simply want him out of the way and don't care what that looks like. I know your past with Clint is dramatic. You've, you've shared some of that. That he had a distinctly negative effect on your life. And I don't want to pursue something that would put you in the same room as him. When, Not even in the same area if it is beyond your comfort. When you are speaking about this, Abraham, you have a sharp like almost primal slingshot back to when you all had that shared experience. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. You are old, correct. He is you are the correct. Only, Never he's mind. The only, the only one out of the loop. He's the only one that doesn't know what Clint did to me. Everyone else knows. Abraham does not. <laughs> oh. It's good for Clint. It's it is probably for, for best that Clint knows. That's freaking perfect. Go for, on. For, for a character whose entire deal is consent. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, no. Uh, a Abe was dead. Uh huh. So, he yeah. doesn't know. Never mind. Never mind. The only one. I know. I know. But I did not want to put you in a situation where you would have to interact with him, whether it turn violent, which I, I hope that no situation turns violent, but if he could be persuaded to leave, I, d I, don't, I didn't want to put you through having to interact with him if it was not something that you were comfortable with. But it is also my only real lead. I feel as though I have exhausted most of my options when it comes to contacts in my attempts to garner the whereabouts of Amandra. I'm, I'm sorry, I know this must be very troubling to hear, and like I said, I didn't want to put you off your dinner. 
But I also felt that this wasn't the best thing to discuss in public. Especially not since I'm talking about the removal of a prominent member of society. And the 10th district. Um. Yeah, I don't... It's really... Um... To have to pick that and gaining info from Amandra is... I I I am I am not strong when I am around him A you know, we, we've still been kind of just sitting discussing uh, before we left. As Ezra says that Abe will reach out and take her hands. You are strong. And when you feel that strength begin to waver, I will be there. He's just deadlocked eyes right now. I will stand by you. I promised you we would find Amandra, and I will be whatever support you need me to be. An obsidian head also rests on your shoulder, so. Obsidian, me number? Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's it's really um com comforting. You could tell like she is very uncomfortable talking about this man. <laughs> um Yes. I uh, um as comforting as it is to think about you there, I still I don't I don't have any faith left when it comes to him. Um, I I just can't find the strength. Ezra, please gain an inspiration. I I can't I can't escape the, the memories over there. I try, <laughs> but they are always there. Would you I know we just started with guided meditation, but I do have one one other exercise. It helped me find peace with this. And he just kind of gestures down to the kind of scaly aspect of his being and just being a Simic hybrid, just the visage of what he is. If you're comfortable, I could guide you to it. It's uncomfortable. Do you trust me? Yes. And I promise not to lead you down a road that I don't think you can handle. And I promise that if it begins to be too much, we'll stop. We'll push you beyond your limits. But 
but I believe. And once again, giving giving a bit of a squeeze to the hands this time. You do have the strength. Even if you don't see it. You have battled dragons. You have brought the dead back to life. You have power and strength and courage. Most of all, courage. And I believe that you can handle this. So please, if you trust me, let me help you. Okay. Abe would go through a similar process again uh, probably taking a little more time focusing on the breathing um, since you know we brought up a little more sensitive of topics beyond just general fear and things like that I want you to picture that we back on the edge of that river. I want you to step once more into the water. However, this time we do not stop at the knees. We continue to walk towards the center of the channel. And as we do, our waist, our chest, shoulders, eventually top of our head become completely submerged we walk feel yourself walk across the bottom of the channel the sand pounding beneath your feet as you do not float but are instead weighed down by the water around you this place this darkness the bottom of this channel it's trauma it's all the bad things that have happened to you it's everything that was out of your control and as you feel at this point your chest start to tighten Focus on your breath. Your body wants to fight the water that crushes down around it, but you need to let go. Allow the water to wash over and into you. Breathe it in like you would breathe the air. as it fills you. Feel as you become one with the river. But as the current at the bottom of this channel pushes against your back, you will not move. Instead, you will watch yourself. A version of you that does not have the strength to face him. Separate. See the fear in those eyes disappear into the darkness of the channel as the current carries it away. We accept that that which has happened cannot be undone. But how we choose to embrace what it has made us is what offers us true freedom. And 
live there. At the bottom of that channel. And know no fear. For the channel has already taken you. At the end of the description, you make you may make one more wisdom save. This one, however, since you are being brought to the depths of your fear, will be made without proficiency and with no d4 added. It's just a straight roll? Is straight it disadvantage at all? Nope. Okay. Just straight wisdom. Shit. <laughs> Not expecting that. You feel it was one off of a nat 20, ladies and gentlemen at home. It was 19 made 21. At the start of it, you feel trepidation, mostly when Abraham starts to talk about you being fully submerged. When he talks, talks about the bottom of the river being everything that has traumatized you, everything that has given you fear. But it is when he starts to talk about that version of yourself that separation, that acceptance, and the will to let go. You do find a very grounding manner of peace with that. And for the first time in a long time, a true smile creeps across your face. Could I potentially have, with my small smile, have almost those, like, relieved, just not a lot, but just tears? Of course. Just like, oh my gosh. Of <laughs> I course. I felt this way ever. Of course. <laughs> As tears would come to the eyes of Ezra, so too would tears come to the eyes of Abe. Copycat. <laughs> <laughs> and seeing seeing the first real smile I guess in the entirety of the time that she does have constant walls up yeah this is the first real moment of vulnerability that would be a very beautiful thing and Abe just sitting there would be like May I hug you? Yeah. Yeah, that would be okay. He'll pull her into a tight embrace. We're sitting on the floor. Are you pulling me over to your lap? What are you doing? <laughs> no, just like pulling you in. You, you can hug sitting. That's totally a thing. It, I mean, it's a little weird, but, like, <laughs> you can still hug oh, someone well, tightly. Well. Alright. I was just trying to picture it in my eyes. What <laughs> our bodies are doing. <laughs> What's going on? Did you pick... Did you stand me up? Are we on our knees? Are we sitting? I am very proud of you, Ezra. And while... Troubled pasts 
are never overcome in a moment. It's always a hundred steps. Thousand, even. An entire journey to come to peace with the things that get to our core. Today was a big first step for you. And I, for one, am excited to see your strength shine. Because you deserve to shine. You do. Ooh, little detail that I love. You'll see her blush and you'll see her white freckles come out that you never see because they're the same color as her white skin. <laughs> now, let's go get a bowl of soup. As you do, you find a a nice stall, fairly close to Precinct 3, selling some well, it depends. If you want to find some more hearty potato and meat stew, you can go a little bit farther. You can certainly have a garden soup somewhere close to Precinct 3. Abe would order a minestrone. <laughs> Not super big on meat. I fucking love minestrone. All right. Um, but beans and veg are fair game. I will Beautiful. look towards Umber questionly like do you want this <laughs> oh uh or, by the way detail or... that i forgot to mention um as you two were embracing you would have heard just a very uh, not loud but a howl <laughs> yes. was it like a, a jealous howl N no like a i'm jealous that they're it hugging to okay good no Uh, it was letting go. Oh, I give Umber a snuggle too. <laughs> He's such a good boy. I love this dog. He's this a very is, good boy. This is a, this is not a good prospect for Ezra. <laughs> Should not love anything with uh -huh. the way her life is gone. <laughs> All right, with that. You all. Can we make sure find Umber some food too that he likes? Yes, uh, he would I, sniff. I'm, I don't mind working around. For yes, it. he would. He would sniff the uh, minestrone, and I mean, he doesn't seem to mind. All right. Yeah. So far, the only thing he has not liked is peas. So it's peas, and I made sure. I made yes. sure. I said, yeah. I mean, not that. All ministries come Even, with peas, but some do. But I said no peas. In this yes, <laughs> yes, and it has been followed. Actually, one second, <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> Roll to make sure. I know. I gotta. <laughs> okay. Yes, it has been followed. With that, you. Have a nice, light meal, and bed down for the evening. Vasul, I believe, is the only one who we have not brought to a close. If he would like to do anything before the night is up, but that is the final thing we will do. I would like to see my lady, my special gal. <laughs> Which one? Uh, I want to go to precinct one there, mate. <laughs> okay. Uh, cheeky, cheeky um, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you go to speak with Suleiman Zen. Nay, Suley. <laughs> <laughs> You've already made your charisma checks, so I won't ask for that. Um, oh, I have. You, you, you have oh, well, befo yeah. before. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can yeah, we can do it again if you would want to see if you are still wooing her. No, I, I'm comfortable with wooing her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 
Uh... <laughs> oh, oh don't curious. throw me off my game, do you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like you sinister. <laughs> uh, never, never. Uh, go. I, I we'll just say roll me a Constitution save because I know what you want to do already. <laughs> No, you don't know what oh, I want to okay, do, Oh, okay, okay. Start talking to her then. <laughs> I talk. You know exactly what I want to do, I man. thought so! <laughs> I just want to feel something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Uh, roll a con save for me. <laughs> Public <laughs> roll! That's Pretty a 20 good. to hit. Pretty good. Uh, you have a pretty rough and tumble night for, uh, you know, two, three hours. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> uh, she's not, she doesn't joke around. I'd say. Yeah. Hang on. Do we talk? Is there banter? Do we oh, there's banter? definitely banter. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna role play that with you, though. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I guess it... <laughs> Is there anything else possible? Ah, uh, can we cuddle? Of course you can. Okay, I want to cuddle. And just... Can she tell me about the stars? Does she know about the stars? Oh, certainly. I would like that as well. Yeah. A wholesome evening for Vossel. <laughs> as you <laughs> ask about the stars, um, you are regaled with quite an understanding, actually. Like, she knows a lot. Always loved a smart woman, I tell you what. <laughs> oh. uh, enough so that if you ever have to make a check on the stars, you could have advantage on the history check. So, Holy smokes! Well, that's the best thing I've heard in the last five seconds. <laughs> I enjoy that quite a lot. Well, oh my gosh. No worries. Uh, make, Thanks, sure to, make sure to note that down somewhere because I'm not, I'm not tracking it. Um, yeah, I got you. I got uh, you. The stars. I have triple advantage. Of course, <laughs> yes, that makes total sense. <laughs> All right. With that, Torin. Yes. While I'm while we're settling down, going to like bed in our yard, can I do a little bit of music? Of course you can. And I want to make up a song. I'm singing to Umber. Obviously, Abe can listen if he wants to. He's of in course, the hut. Of course. But I'm singing to Umber about a story of a mighty dog who has a great monk friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get more okay with as my. But it's mostly about the a heroic, handsome boy. All right. It is a pumper. Roll me a performance. Is this again. about me? Is this about Vosu? <laughs> Upper! <laughs> oh, I'm a good boy. <laughs> What's a 33, right? Yeah, yeah. Damn. You you were Gale. <laughs> with I mean, she, it, it, if there's one thing a bard is good at, it is everything charisma based. Um, a 16 turned to a 33. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Even if you rolled a one, it would be an eighteen. Like, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Hey, Even performance case, is my kind of thing. Average. Performance yeah. is my thing. Yeah. Um, you regale him with a tale of a a brave and and good boy, and how he went on a quest with his friend monk. And it continues. You don't know if it had the effect you wanted. But he certainly seems to enjoy it. Oh, I'm glad he enjoyed it. I, I hope Abe over there enjoyed it too. If he was listening. 
Intently. Yes, intently so. <laughs> Abe, Abe was listening intently. Uh huh. Intently. <laughs> Possible good. Oh, I see. Oh, I see what you guys mean. I'm like, why are you guys speaking for him? How do we know? Yeah. <laughs> we know he's listening intently. He, we just he's know. Dead. <laughs> and then I look sideways. Oh, it's in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with that, you all find yourselves finally to sleep after a fairly harrowing couple of weeks. As you all do, I'm sorry for trauma, but everyone make me a wisdom save. Sounds right. Just uh -huh. flat one. Even you after all my meditation just a today. wisdom save, because it is not to do with the thing that you were meditating against. Natural 20! Natural 20 is good. Oh, it's a natural 20 for someone. It is. It's, 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 it's me! Right. She's been of, doing of a ton of meditation people. today. She really is. For... <laughs> She's been working her ass off. I'd like it to reflect the record that I got a 17. Yes, yes. I, I see the numbers. Um, the only do one I, one I didn't know do not see Mocha? one from is uh no Mocha does not need you no okay um er, Ish, okay. Ishmael right kind of went opposite does. from our modifiers because Apple's got a huge modifier and you rolled the lowest and yeah. I've got way smaller no, modifier yeah. than any everyone and I rolled the highest. It did. <laughs> Will you roll for me, DM? I closed up my computer already. Of course, I can do that. Uh, yeah, we will be done here shortly. Um. But I think like, you guys all are... just talk about sleep. I know, I know. It's <laughs> like, oh my gosh. I know. Great. Plus, like in the campaign, you're winding down a little bit. Uh huh. So, uh -huh. um, with Ishmael, I will grab the wisdom save. Of course, it's got an extra plus five on top of this. Oh, there's advantage there, isn't there? Oh, an advantage. Dude. It's not. It's not. Disadvantage. Um, it should be disadvantage. Oh, you are correct, <laughs> oh, my good gosh. sir. Uh, it's still a 20. Oh. Uh -huh. This, I will let you know, is a group mm. check. Mm. Mm. So. Did we win? Yeah, did, yeah. Each, group check. <laughs> and every one of you sees at the very beginning of your, well, no, not the very beginning, somewhere in the middle of the night, you see opening like a rift in space, one slitted lightning wreathed blue eye, and the words come across your mind. <laughs> Yeah, man, even with my natural 20? Yes, because the DC <laughs> for this group check was pretty high. Oh, it was a group check? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Super fun. Way to go, Apple. Hmm. Yeah! Oh, Wait hmm. next time! I'm <laughs> 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 How dare you roll a 14? Right? And I will say that is that is just before everyone wakes up. But he's got a plus 11. He rolled yeah. a 3. But I mean, the man's modifier. Yeah, much. it's definitely it's all really Apple's fault. Apple it's hard. all Apple's fault. For Apple's sure. no, fault. <laughs> like Come that. on, Apple. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. No, be AJ! No. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It would have been very hard to succeed on that Press all. Yeah. yeah i mean which makes sense with what we just went through uh-huh so was it the drapple eye uh it, it was fucking... definitely not the drapple eye i would i would the say drapple. that you've you've all seen that eye before that was casimir yeah <sighs> cool <laughs> with that you you all do like come awake in the morning having that beautiful sight at the forefront of your mind and with that we will 
meet our heroes once again when we come back to Ravnica.